Hello, I am Manish Sharma and this is about Autodoc video tutorial from BR Nata College of Pharmacy which is a CSIRO from DSIR and a Center of Relevance and Excellence from TIFEC. This tutorial has been created by Mr. Amit and myself and we are located at Center for QSAR and Molecular Modeling in Department of Medicinal and Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Maximum inputs for creating this video tutorial have been taken from a tutorial which is available at the Scripps Research Institute. Okay, so uh, we suggest downloading and installing these five softwares for molecular docking simulations and analysis. The links have been provided. Discovery, Python, MGL2754, Orthodox, Ute and Pymol. First of all, we need to install Python for normal working of MGL tools 154. We have downloaded uh, all of our softwares in D drive. Install the softwares in default locations. Now install MGL tools. Okay. So this is the final uh, window which pops up if everything is normal and installation is complete. Uh, next is to install Autodoc 4.2 suit and just to be remembered that this software should be extracted and installed in MGL tools 154 which is located in program files of C drive. So these are the contents, these three files are the contents of Autodoc suit. Uh, two are applications, Autogrid and Autodoc, and one is a Juin file, which is required for the normal working. Uh, similarly, uh, you could also install other software, such as Discovery Studio and Pymol. Now we are all set for this tutorial. The first step is uh, to download a protein uh, which is 1HSG from RCSB protein database and the website for this protein data bank is pdb.org. You can type in the pdb id 1HSG of the Protein. This protein is a complex of the ligand indenavir with the protease. Now, uh, after downloading this 1HSG protein, uh, we need to see this, view this in Discovery Studio. Uh, we need to look into the protein ligand interactions and the most important thing is to form two files one for the ligand indenavir and the other is for the protein 
which is a protease without the ligand. So uh, here we can see the interactions, the ligand in the nerve with the binding site residues in the protease. Label the residues and we can make sure which are the residues which are interacting with the ligand in the nerve. Okay, so now uh, we are again going to upload this protein and the main object now is to take out the endenavir from the protein. So we are going to select the ligand and then we would delete it. So now this is a protease without the ligand. Save is save as in the folder MJ tools 154 with the extension dot pdbqt. Again, we would select ligand, but this time we would invert the selection so that the protein gets selected and then we delete the protein and we are left with the ligand. Now we are going to save it in the PDBQT format again in MGL Tools 154 folder. Both the files should be with the extension .pdb. Now the second step is to uh, ensure we have to start the autodoc tool. But before we start, we need to ensure that the autogrid, autodoc, and Sijuin executables they are in the MGL tools 154 uh, and the separated protein one HSG with the extension .pdb and ligand with the extension .pdb which has been created by discovery, they are also present in the MGL tools 154. And the important thing is to run the autodoc tool, which is a Windows batch file from MGL tools 154 folder only. Now we'll go into the folder MGL Tools 154 and you can see the ADT batch file. Double click it. Okay, so the first thing is to upload the 1HSG protein. This is a widget. There are a lot of options that you can try. We need to add hydrogens into the protein. Now we would save as this protein after the processing into a PDBQT file. Again, we are going to input the ligand with the PDB extension. Okay, 
it GUI gives us some characteristics of the ligand in Dinaver. We need to detect the root and choose the torsions. And if required, you can fix some bonds as rigid or there is also a choice to make some bonds as flexible. Here we are taking the inputs that have been given from the text tutorial from Scripps Research Institute. After this, we are going to save this ligand in PDBQT format in the folder MGL Tools 154. As for the tutorial, uh, we are going to make arginine 8 as the flexible residue. So we need to go into select from string, type in arginine 8 and the GUI shows us that two residues have been selected. Zoom and click on the bond between CA and CB in both the residues. the box. Now we are going to save a flexible residue file in the PDBQT format. And another file we are going to save which is a rigid file for the protein in the PDBQT format. And both these files will again go in MGL Tools 154 folder. We should remember that the docking actually is done on the rigid file. Now we are going to choose the grid bag, grid box. Uh, this will tell the software where the binding site is present for the protease and for that you need to choose the protein. If it is not present in the widget then you need to open up the, for, uh, open up the protein from MGL254. Similarly you need to choose the ligand also and then this is a uh, a small grid box options window. There are some dials. You can freely move them and you can move the grid box in the whole of the protein. Exactly the grid box should be in the area where the ligand Indian ever was sitting. And you can move this grid box by moving the dial on the grid box, grid options window. One thing to remember is that the uh, ligand should be able to uh, be in the grid box in its extended form. Now to close this window after saving it and all the inputs are would be saved in a GPF file which again would be saved in MGL Tools 154 folder. You can edit GPF at times it is required that some map types are missing and uh, you can type in those map types and can overwrite the GPF file which is present in MGL254 folder.
after editing the GPA file, you need to click right option and then overwrite on the previous file, on the previous GPA file. Now just check in the MGL tools folder whether all the files Autodoc 4, Autogrid 4 and the ligand.pdbqt and the flexible and rigid files are present. All the input files should be present in this folder only. Otherwise the software Autodoc or Autogrid will not process and will stop after giving an error. Okay, we need to start AutoGrid now. Launch. And here the AutoGrid software starts and will generate the map files that we have specified in the GPF file. A message pops up successful completion which tells us that the calculations have been done completely. Now, to start the Autodoc, first we need to choose the rigid file and we have to specify the flexible file also of the protein. We need to choose the ligand also, accept the default parameters. Go for short. And marking genetic algorithm and save the input parameters in a file with extension dot dpf again in MGL tools 154 folder. This is how we can edit DPF file if required. Okay, now we are going to run Autodoc. Launch. Completion of the calculation is marked by the message successful completion. Now the calculations have been done and we, uh, we are going to analyze the results. Uh, go to dockings, analyze dockings and open up a DLG file. Now these two residues that you are seeing, 
one above the ligand in the inner wave and below it, they are the flexible residues. This is a pop-up window which gives us the binding energy and the binding affinity of a particular bioactive conformation. Here we are choosing the fourth bioactive conformation. You can also see the other conformations by changing the, the right arrow and the left arrow. If you are interested in saving the complex of the protein along with the docked bioactive conformation, then click on the ampersand and then choose the macromolecule and then click on the option right complex. This will pop up a browser window and you can save it in any destination as you like in the file format of PDBQT. So here we are done with the MGL tools, Autodoc tools, we close it and now we would open PyMol and visualize the complex that we have saved. This complex is of the protein protease and the dogged internal ligand. Go into action A and then into preset ligand. So, this is the zoomed view of the docked ligand in Dinavir, which is sitting in the binding area which was uh, provided by us in the grid box. You can name the residues also here. Now we are interested in overlaying the dogged indenaware structure and the crystallized indenaware structure which was present in the protein which was downloaded from the site pdb.org. Now uh, overlaying these two structures over each other would tell us whether these simulations have been done in a fair way. Although uh, we could change some inputs also. Here you can see the two overlaid structures and results of the final molecular docking could be improved as per your requirements by modifying the inputs which are ligand torsion the amino acid and ligand flexibility. You can play around with grid box settings or other default parameters. All these inputs are needed while preparing for the simulations. So basically you could uh, do some uh, modification in processing of the protein and the ligand. We changed the inputs and this is the structure, <clears throat> this is the overlay that we received. You can see they are exactly overlaying over each other, the dogged indenaware from our simulations and the real bioactive conformation of indenaware which was present in 1HSG. So this tells us that the simulations were done in a very fair way. You can save the image of this overlay structure and you can also see 
view the chemical interactions between the docked internaways with the binding site residues and you can match with the ones that are present in the protein 1HSG which was downloaded from the protein data bank. And you can compare that the, the simulations were carried out in a correct way. So this is all. Normally some errors uh, creep up during ADT execution and the first one is uh, the file format unknown and can't parse it and the second one is I can't find a open one hsg rigid .hd map which we have taken care of in the tutorial. Thank you for your time. Bye.